this tutorial will cover do I loop. Um, sometimes you need to repeat certain things even though condition is not true. Also, it means that uh, you can guarantee your program can repeat at least once. In that case, you need to use the while loop rather than while loop. Okay, um, let me draw a simple flowchart. So here, main ID is at least uh, once, we can guarantee. So we start. Normally we need uh, one input so that we can control loop conditions. Um, this is a loop body. That's the something you will say um, you want to uh, eject it at least once. It's a decision. With the A condition. So as long as it's true, we repeat loop body, that process. If it's false, we go to um, output. It is possible to be a process, but I will change to output. then we can end our program. I will say uh, start. Again, we need um, some control variable for the uh, loop condition. So I will say count equal to zero. Uh, let me make it clear. So as you can see, we have a loop body here. Print welcome to Java. After that, then we have a decisions. It means no matter whether the decision is true or false, in this case, even though it's false, we can print our welcome to Java at least once. So without knowing um, whether decision, in this case condition is true or false, we will print welcome to Java once. If it's true, then we go back. If it's false, uh, we are out of the while loop to while loop so that we can print count and then we can terminate the program. So if it's true, then continue print. Welcome to Java. What if it's not true, then we just print count. Let 
let me make it slightly bigger even though it looks a bit um, okay um, consider this uh, diamond shape for the decision symbol let me write it down to while loop syntax in Java so we have two while this is what we call it as a loop body belongs to two while and you can have a single statement or multiple statement Again, I forgot to put counter. Um, I will add it at the end. So here, loop continuation conditions, which is a count less than 100. So if you look at here, um, loop body in this case we referring to one statement actually there's one more statement called count plus plus then here um, loop continuation condition referring to count less than uh, 100 again uh, let me add count plus plus Okay, let me make some space and I will add count plus plus so that we can count the number of repetition here. Then we can control our loop condition as well. Okay, let's create a new Java application project. I will use the same name. So we are looking at two while loop. Let me uh, repeat the same thing, uh, input process and output components. I'm going to use the same example as a uh, while loop. But uh, following the syntax to while loop, while loop has a uh, condition here then we use a semicolon at the end that's the difference between while and to while you may need to use a semicolon at the end of while loop because that's the at the end of statement everything is same uh, welcome to java that's loop body something we want to repeat and then count plus plus Then uh, output, I will print count.
So count is zero. Uh, we will print welcome to Java. Increase count. And then repeat until uh, less than 100 times. It's not as long as it's true. So basically 100 times. The question is, what if it's not true? What if that does not meet the condition? 200 less than 100, of course, that's not true. It will still um, go through loop body. I will print welcome to Java. Increase counter. Then I will print 201. It might be unusual to you, but that's the advantage we have. Um, using the while loop, if you want to repeat at least once, you may prefer to use the while loop rather than um, while loop. Let's create another example. I just create a new um, Java class. Introduce public static void main. You can put the initial uh, PSVM and press tab key. Let me make a comment and I will show you how to use a sh uh, shortcut. Go to help keyboard shortcuts. All these things can be as a shortcut. So our case is a second page. Look for uh, PSVM. And if we press tab key after that, it will replace with the other statements. Let me try to type the same example again. Um, I'm going to use a default value. No, I consider it as a premium value false. I'm going to use a while loop for now. Then I will show you how to convert while loop to, to while loop, why that's the good idea. Or why it's a better idea to use the while loop rather than the while loop for this particular example. Let me add the three menus or three items. One pizza, two for salad, three for drink. Okay, uh, auto print. And the order you need to save it, uh, I need to add. Scanner, new. Scanner, system in. Because it's a system input. Or standard system input device. I think scanner. Now you can import scanner class belongs to Java util package. Okay. Here input is based on standard input device. Uh, basically a keyboard input. Yes and no. Make sure you, you know how to convert string values to a uh, character value here. Input.next will return a uh, string value. 
it says incomparable type. So even though you type single character, it will return a string value. It means it will return the value as a, a string. So it has to be convert, convert to a character value with a single quotation. So there's one method called character eight. Read the first index only. Index start from zero, one, two, three. So we just read the first character. I want to be Y or N. As a single um, character input. Okay, now that's what we did while loop, with the while loop. So your order is zero. So what we can do is we change the default value to be yes. Then um, it's going to work. Okay, uh, let me fix that problem. Okay, it works, number one, yes. We can order second one. And then here, no. Okay, we have uh, order number two, but order number one is, doesn't appear. So let's move our uh, output inside the while loop. Let's change back to uh, default value. No. Then, um, if we change while loop to do while loop, it's going to repeat the uh, um, loop condition, sorry, uh, loop body. Means we should be able to see uh, our menu then we can process our input. So comment our while loop and then copy, paste it here. Make sure you introduce semicolon at the end as a terminating that statement. This is a old while loop I commented out. So once you learn this, um, even the initial condition is not does not meet or is not true, it will still go inside the two while loop. Then you can process our input. And then order number two up here, one and two as well. So that's the advantage using two while loop. If you want to uh, make sure that your um, loop body is repeat at least once. That's all. Thank you.